Hello and welcome to Infinity. One of the things that is very helpful to be able to do is to change the overall feel of a picture by changing the colours within it. And a useful tool for doing that. It's a bit tricky, but it's okay if you do it a bit at a time, which is what we're going to do. So we're not going to cover the whole tool this time, just one bit of it. But we'll have a big picture first of all. And the tool is Selective Colour. Then what we've got here is we've got a drop down here, click on that and I can see here reds, yellows, greens, cyans, blues and magentas, which are the primary colours, red, green and blue, and the secondary colours, which are the yellow, green and magenta. And also at the bottom, we've got whites, neutrals, neutral means between white and black, and the blacks. So we've got both colours and tones, because tones are more the black and whites, and the colours are the reds, greens and blues, and so on. And what we do here, we've got controls here for changing it. So what those do is they do a selection. The, what you choose here, if I click on the reds or the yellows, it's only going to select it, and then the controls here are only going to change that bit. We can see that, because if I've got red selected here, look at what happens if I move this one up and down. You can see it's only changing a part of the picture. And this is a quick way of figuring out, take these controls, wag them up and down, and you can see where it is. So it's actually changing just the reds in the picture. And these here, sign magenta and yellow, you can think of these as actually being reverse of sign magenta and yellow. Think of them as red, green and blue, it's the normal order we do things, but backwards. I know it's a bit confusing, but we'll see why in another video. All you need to see at the moment, just to give you a big picture, if I turn this down, the reds go up. If I turn it up, we get less reds. But we're not going to use that today. What we're going to do use is just the ones at the bottom, because this is actually a very practical use. So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, which are the blacks, which can be the areas here which are dark. And what happens if I move this up and down? So you can see here, that's where the blacks are. And in fact, you can see if I turn that down there, that's definitely controlling reds, isn't it, in the black. So I think, what do I want to put into blacks? And often a good idea, what's quite nice, is a bit of blue in the blacks. And if this is red, green and blue, then the blue is at the bottom here. And because it's a kind of backwards control, if I turn it this way, I put blue in, but I don't want that much. So I'm going to turn this down here like this. And generally speaking, this is a really good useful rule with this, with selective colour. Choose this from here, what you want to change, and then experiment. Literally play with these to see what happens. We're going to go this down here to make this a bit of blue, but then let's see what happens here when we move these other here. So I go well, that way, oh, that doesn't look so good. But if I turn the other way, that kind of makes it look a little bit crisper, doesn't it? Just a little bit nicer. And... Again, if I go this way, it looks a bit funny, but if I go up the other way, that kind of makes it work as well. And often you get this pattern where you put one down and the others up. So you're balancing ups and downs. The black at the bottom here, the, the line here kind of shows it. If I go this way, it's going to go lighter. That's not so good. And go the other way, I can make the blacks blacker by going that way. But I think I'll leave it in the middle. Now let's go to the other end. And go to whites and it's literally going to pick up the whites in the picture here and with the black at the bottom I can make the whites whiter or the whites a bit darker but let's see if we can make it a little bit more sort of like an orangey warmer color well red has got that isn't it so what can I do here let's see if I turn that down it just goes a little bit redder yeah so it adds a little bit of warmth into that what about this one here? It goes better that way. And this one here. Any of these. Making it a bit more yellow adds, adds to the warmth of it overall. So there, just by turning this on and off like this, before and after, I've added a certain kind of more feel to it. And we'll just do one more, which is the neutrals. And beware of neutrals, by the way, a small change will help make something quite significant because if I, it shows a large part of the picture. But you can also go, well, actually, 
making that a little bit red there. That's kind of nice because it's warming it up. And in warming, then a bit of yellow will make it more a bit more orange. So I'm making the whole thing warmer like this. And this way, which I go to make it green, yuck, that's horrible. This way, maybe a little bit of magenta. And there we go. Look at what we've done here. We changed the picture from here to here. It's quite changed the tone of it. Just by going along to the whites, the neutrals and the blacks here. And that chooses a selection within the picture. And then changing red, green and blue because these are backwards. Go left for the red, left for green and left for blue. And the other direction is the opposite. But literally play with them. And that's the effect you can have quite easily. And it's can really give a picture a big lift by doing that. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.